So Apple had a fun update that affects camera connectivity in macOS and Noma and Sequoia and probably other future Mac operating systems as well. It's a security feature that essentially doesn't allow webcams to operate unless they have a tally indicator so that you know that it's on. There's good reason behind this, but it's incredibly annoying for us professionals who use capture cards like the Elgato capture card or even our own cameras. So here's how you fix it. Firstly, you're gonna have to reboot your computer in recovery mode. If you're on an Apple Silicon computer, meaning M1, M2, M3, etc., you're gonna shut down the computer and then when you power it back on, press and hold the power button until you see the Apple logo appear. If you're on an Intel Mac, after shutting down the computer, you're gonna wanna press the power button to power your computer back on and then immediately press Command R until you see either an Apple logo or a spinning globe. Once you see this screen, go up to the utilities menu over here and select terminal. You're gonna type in the following line of code. System override legacy camera plugins without SW camera indication equals on. I'll put it on screen here so it's easy to follow along. Press enter and that should be pretty much it. Apparently, depending on your operating system, it might ask you some additional questions. So just read whatever it says and you'll probably have to type Y for yes or something like that. Wonderful, now you can quit terminal, go to the Apple menu and restart your computer back to normal. Once you've booted your computer back up, before leaving this video, I'd recommend going to System Settings, Privacy and Security, and then selecting Camera. If you executed everything correctly, you should have this alert notification that says, when using your camera with an unsupported plugin, the camera privacy indicator will not be displayed in the menu bar. So if you see that, it worked. Go ahead and check your camera input connectivity. If you're still having issues, the problem isn't the operating system anymore, it's likely something else. One final piece of advice for you, if you're trying to use your camera and not a capture card, I found that quitting your cloud menu bar apps help. So, you know, OneDrive, Google Drive, that sort of thing. They tend to override your camera to be seen as an external drive as opposed to a video stream, which is not what you want in the case of trying to get your video, a video stream onto your computer. In any case, I hope that this video was helpful. If it was, please consider giving me a thumbs up so that this video can reach and help more people. And if you're subscribed, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.